Golfing Zoom. Golfing Zoomer. Chicho, um, have you talked about the possible end of the US petrodollar? Possible end? <laughs> we haven't talked. We've talked about it many times in the past. I wouldn't say it's a possible end. I think we are seeing the end of the hegemonic petro, uh, petrodollar, right? So as of last week, right? Or last few weeks, but last week really sealed the deal, right? As of last week, countries no longer need the US dollar to buy oil if they are buying oil from certain nations that will only sell their oil in different currencies other than the US dollar. Game over. It's done, right? The dam broke, right? So is it going to be a mass flood? Take over everything? Is it controlled demolition? Is, is it a leak and then they're going to try to plug it up? But the plugging up has been going on for a while, right? Look into why Venezuela bad, Iran bad, Libya bad, Syria bad. Look into those things, right? Well, they're bad was because they were deciding to sell oil and the resources outside of the U.S. dollar, right? U.S. put an embargo on them, sanctions on them, destroyed some of them. But they can't do that to Russia, right? They can't do that to Russia. Russian ruble was one U.S. dollar before the war started in Ukraine, right? One U.S. dollar could have gotten you 75, let's say, rubles, right? And then the war happened, invasion, incursion, whatever you want to call it, into Ukraine, right? All of a sudden, it went from 1 to 150 rubles, right? The Western world was celebrating. Yes, we're going to collapse Russia's economy. Uh, there's going to be a color revolution in Russia. Putin's going to get ousted. Uh, you know, we win. La 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 la. Right? These idiots are playing tic tac toe. Russians are sitting there going, These idiots are playing tic tac toe. <laughs> like, that's what they were thinking. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, they don't consider that for the last few years, right? Russia has been cutting deals with multiple nations and has already prepped for all this, buying gold up the yin yang, right? Russia is one of the few countries in the world where you could just close its borders and it would be completely fully functional, right? It wouldn't implode, right? So what happens? Well, Russia comes out and says this and says this, starts dealing with China. Oh, news comes out of China, news comes out of India, news comes out of Pakistan, right? News comes out of South America, news comes out of Africa, news comes out of the Middle East, right? Oh, everyone's willing to deal with Russia. Not only that, Russia can will now only accept uh, oil, gas, payments in rubles or equivalent of gold. And I think it's five pegged at 5,000 rubles per gram of gold now right so any nation that wants to buy energy from russia has to pay in rubles or gold there goes the u.s dollar not only that russia is announcing that now that also applies to their other resources including rare earth elements minerals commodities wheat most likely all of these things you can now only buy from Russia in rubles or gold, which makes sense. Is there a currency? Why would they have to go through the U.S. dollar, right? By the way, this wasn't their doing. Russia did. Russia was happy with the system that was existed before, but what happened is the United States and the West, in their infinite stupidity, decided to uh, use their currencies as an instrument of war, right? And the SWIFT system is an instrument of war, right? So they were conducting economic warfare on Russia, but on a scale that all nations that agreed would never take place, right? It's like a ban on nuclear weapons. Nations that agreed, they won't use nuclear weapons in war, right? That's off the table now, by the way. Okay. So they went nuclear on the economic level. Russia went, <laughs> we already figured you guys are too dumb not to do it. So Russia went click, 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 click. All of a sudden, Russian ruble now, after all this is done, right? Russian ruble is now 
1 to 82, 83 ruples, right? So before the war, it was 1 to 75. Now it's 1 to 82, 83, 84, 85, let's say. And guaranteed, it's going to get stronger and stronger, okay, relative to the U.S. dollar. Checkmate. Russia just killed the U.S. petrodollar. It's over. It's done, right? The U.S. dollar will still retain its strength relative to other things, and it's going to be a slow demise. I don't think it's going to happen overnight, tell you the truth. Now, a lot of people, oh, it's going to drop 50% in a week or a month or this. And da, 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 da. I don't think so. I think it's just going to be a slow decline. Slow decline, slow decline, slow decline, slow decline. And at some point, I think, some kind of traumatic event, event is going to occur, and then they're going to try to make it all digital and bring it all together, everyone's currencies together, a basket of currencies, and we'll see where it goes. It's a Herculean task like that they've taken on, and as long as humanity says, F you, I don't think so, we're okay. If humanity buys into the digital currency that they want to release, where they track everything you do, including to the last bit of toilet paper you buy, right? So they can tax you up the yin yang, right? And censor you like nothing else, right? Um, I hope they, you know, they they're not able to do what they want to do. But as far as the U.S. petrodollar goes, it's done. It's no longer the only reserve currency in the world. <laughs>